everybody, Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Sanford Stadium in Athens, one of the few college stadiums around and one of only two in the SEC in which the football field faces east-west as opposed to north-south. Landry has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep to open up the ball game. Here we go, folks. Marshall from the five. They'll bring him down at the 33-yard line. Georgia's offensive staff, they really build things around this guy, and they know that they can be confident in what he can do all game long. Yeah, I think they, they trust in all of his abilities. And the big thing also is he avoids those silly mental mistakes. He, he does not line up in the wrong position. He's not going to turn the wrong way. More importantly, he's not going to miss out on a blitz on pass action. So he's, he's really just a total package, very consistent, very reliable running back that this team utilizes. And the defense looked a little sluggish there, and they can do better than that. From the 49-yard line, it's first down. He gets to about the 41-yard line. The Bulldogs always have guys that are near the top statistically, and that's no exception today. We're really looking forward to watching this kid play. He's at the 20, the 10. He's all the way. Touchdown. Wow. Did you see that end zone of you? It can elevate your running to another level. Awesome play. And he adds the extra point. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. The Crimson Tides came into today's game ranked number one in the land, and they silenced any doubters with that performance. And for Alabama, they've now won three in a row. Alabama wins it 27-10. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. Douglas looks ready to kick this one off. He'll return it from the three. He's out to the 30. He steps out at the 42-yard line. That was a nice kick return. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Now he's scrambling. And he's level at the 47. Gain of five on the play. That brings up second and five. From their own 47-yard line, it's second down. Brought down around the 40-yard line. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. Nice pitch and catch for the first down. And down he goes at the 24. The offense was pretty successful on that play there. That was a very good passing play to get the ball downfield for a very nice gain and a first down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 24. Tries to get around the corner. Nice gain as he works the right side. That's a game of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Run, 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 run. The 10. Now it's first and goal as he's knocked out after a nice game. They've obviously found a formula for moving the ball against this defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. First and goal from the four. They're knocking on the door. Back five, back five. He's on the run. And he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. And 
really a nice run there by that quarterback. Well, great decision by the quarterback reading the defense, and as soon as he saw the open field, he cut it upfield and scored the touchdown. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he tacks on the extra point. A six-play, 58-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running backs. We get a tie game at 7-7. Seven, seven. Marshall takes it from the six, and he's taken down at the 32. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Murray fakes a handoff. Pulls it in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle. That's good for a game of one yard. That makes it second and eight. Mike 35, Mike 35. Sam, he's in the Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Gain of one on the play. That'll bring up third and eight. Pressure coming and the ball is loose. Scoops up the loose ball. Look at him go to the 20. Touchdown, huge play. Makes you nervous anytime a defender tries to pick up a fumble and run with it instead of just falling on it. Man, did it work out for him here for a big time play in the score. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Landry has the ball set and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Fielded at the four. And down he goes at the 32-yard line. This offense has got to try to pull it all together now after the fumble cost them six points just moments ago. Brad, I know they turned the ball over the last time that they were out here, but it's important for these guys to remember they still have to lead here. Even though the momentum right now might be facing against them, they've got to be able to just settle down and find some confidence in being able to reestablish who they are. Tackle around the 36-yard line. Throwing. I don't think he got anything on that. That pass play gets him roughly three yards. This was just a little dump off pass to the halfback, but it was very well defended, keeping them from moving the ball very far downfield. Williams back deep to return. And he's tackled at the 33. North Texas is a team that was supposed to roll over and play dead in this football game, and they're not doing that. I think what we've seen so far is some good execution, but just more of an attitude. They have shown up to play in this game with a confidence and a belief in one another that they're going to pull off an upset today. The squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver look. Quick strike, and he drops it. That's just a great play to separate the ball from the receiver. He'll be feeling that hit tomorrow. Second and ten. From their own 33-yard line. Second down. North Texas up seven points. Red he's scrambling. And he's tackled at the 36. Call his own number on that one. I like the idea of trying to run here, but the defense really made him pay the price for trying to run.
second down. At about the 43-yard line. Wonderful play call to convert on third down. I'll tell you what, he really wanted out. Good determination to get it. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. They give to the tailback. A one-yard gain by the halfback. That time, it was the sophomore corner who got in there to make the tackle. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a game of four on the play. Third down. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. Coming, and they're going to come after this one. That was a nice little pooch kick right there. And that's why they made the decision to punt the ball right there. They wanted to pin this offense deep in their own territory. This team really trusts their defense. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Here's the give. Makes it to the 31. At about the 35. Good outside run there. That's good for a gain of five yards. That brings up second and five. Runs it, and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. Nowhere to go for the halfback. That's a loss of one. That makes it third and seven. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 25. Steps up, and he's hit before he can go anywhere. And they make the stop at about the 25 yard line. Loss of four yards on the play. That makes it second and 14. So it's second and 14. Ball on the 25. Gives it to the back. Number three carries the ball. That's a gain of eight on the play. Third down. Check three, check three, check three. Coming for his son. Coming for his son. Oh, oh, oh. And he throws right away. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Defense does a really good job here of timing it up and knocking the ball away. I think they were anticipating pass on third down. And now we'll see what happens on this big fourth down. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. The kick is up, and it's good. The scoreboard lit up in that first 15 minutes. North Texas leads it 14-10. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Turn back to the turn. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 27-yard line. And 
we're back for more action here in quarter number two. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. North Texas holds a four-point lead. Here comes the pressure. From their own 25-yard line, second down. He's going to try and scramble. He's tackled in the open field. Good coverage by the defense, but they have to be aware of this quarterback's tendency to scramble around and pick up some yards. Now he tries to buy some time. They'll bring him down around the 39-yard line. That's good for a gain of nine yards. That makes it first and ten. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 39. Three down, three down. Watch it for two. And two. Three, 15. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Quick throw. Tackle made around the 43-yard line. Brings him down at the 43-yard line. First down. From the 43-yard line. First down. Here's the halfback on the screen. He's taken down at the 35-yard line. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. North Texas is up four. Red. Easy, easy. Run, 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 run. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. Gain of three yards. First down. Here's the eighth play of the series. Red two, three, nine. Run, 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 run. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Loss of about three on the toss play. That'll bring up second and 12. From the 35 yard line, it's second down. This is the 10th play of this drive. Red two, X. It's the tailback. They go to the left for a nice game. Call it a gain of four yards. That makes it first and 10. It's first and 10. Ball on the 18 yard line. Gets it out quickly, and he's immediately tackled. Anderson on the tackle at the eight-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. We're at the 12th play of the drive. Red two, X seven. Looking for six, and he got it. Touchdown. And he adds the extra point. Landry, ready to kick. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 32. Pickoff 
You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. He's going to go for the home run. Oh, and he can't hold on. Incomplete. Mitchell was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball on the 32. Here we go. Caught, and he's hit immediately. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Short pass, middle of the field, and he is drilled. The 37-yard line. Fernandez on the tackle, the 37-yard line. That'll bring up fourth and five. Douglas is waiting for the snap. He's to the 40. Brought down at the 42. The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. Gain of four on the play. That makes it second and six. It's second and six. Ball on the 46. Red two. Give to the running back, and he's going to lose yardage. Breedlove awaits the snap. Oh, he got nailed on that one. Georgia's game plan coming in, obviously, to run the football, control the clock, control the line of scrimmage. They're doing some of that, but they're behind on the scoreboard, so it really doesn't matter. Something's going to have to give in the second half. Well, they're not doing enough. I mean, you know, he's having a great individual performance in this game. Uh, you look at the scoreboard, though, and, it, and it's not working out. It's not giving them enough points. So I think diversity is the key for them moving into the second half. They've got to be able to try to make some changes, put the pressure more on the quarterback and the receivers, and take some of the pressure off of just running the football. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. He picked up around three yards on the draw play. That makes it 37. Man left, man left. And he can't get away from the pressure. That's the second time that he sacked the quarterback today. North Texas going to take their first time out of the half. Williams is back deep to return the punt. Williams fields at the 29, takes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. North Texas has been playing like a well-oiled machine in this first half. And Kirk, are we going to see more of the same in the second? Well, I think as long as they can maintain the proper frame of mind, I think they've got a great shot to be able to pull away and win this game decisively. But the challenge for them will be listening to their coaches at halftime and continuing to play with that same aggressive attitude that they played with in the first half. He's looking for his man. This ball is incomplete. From their own 40-yard line, it's second down. Right 
Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. They get the sack. Georgia will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Marshall is the deep man awaiting the return. They'll bring him down at the 49-yard line. Flag down, and I'm not sure when it was thrown. Let's find out. Receiving team. That one will put the offense in a hole, and they'll try to get some of that back on this upcoming play. First and 10, ball on their own 31. He gets rid of this one. Use their second timeout. From their own 42 yard line. First down. He airs it out. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Patriot! Patriot! Wants to go long and done. Almost intercepted. He was that close to making a big play. His safety is kicking himself for dropping that one. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. So we'll probably get one last heave to the end zone here before halftime. Aaron and out long. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Will the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and ten. Check. Kill, 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 kill. Easy, easy, easy. Buffalo, Buffalo. He goes downtown. Picked off by the senior. First half is over, and this is why they play the game. 21 10, North Texas. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Tremendous energy and execution in the first half. As a result, you get yourself a two-score lead, but you still know you don't match up with this team in a talent standpoint from an experience standpoint. So how do you guard against going into protect mode and make sure that you stay on the attack? Well, if you go into protect mode and get out of what you do best, then, then you can obviously, you can get this lead back right away. I mean, just two possessions just like that. But uh, it's important that you do what you did to get you there. But it's also important to realize that this team is good and they're going to make runs. They, they might come back and tie it up, but you built a two-score cushion. You've got... You've got some slack. You've got some mulligans in your bag that you can use. So I think it's important to do what you've been doing and realize right now you're in a perfect situation. Just go out there, have fun, continue to execute, and try to continue to play that underdog role. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. We're going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk ready with a call.
All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Kearney fields it at the two. He makes it to the 25-yard line. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. after a decent run up the gut. It's second and seven. Ball on the 29-yard line. Nice run there. Williams comes away with five yards on the carry. That'll make it third and one. Down around the 35 yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 35 yard line. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. And down he goes, right around midfield. That's a gain of 15 on the play. That makes it first and 10. He makes his way to about the 38. That's good for a gain of 12 yards. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. That makes it second and eight. Gets out to about the 35-yard line. Third down, and they need to get it to the 28. Passes it to the middle of the field, and he tackles him hard at the 36. That is a loss of one yard. Fourth down. So they're going to go for it here. Here we go, here we go. Tight right, tight right. Get in, get in. Get in. He launches one for the end zone. Can't connect. They don't pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Tackle around the 44-yard line. That brings up second and one. Caught, and he's taken down right around the 48-yard line. That's a gain of eight on the play. First down. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. 25 to Mike. Go! Patriot! Patriot! Runs it right. Nice pickup. That's a gain of four on the play. That makes it second and six. Three down, three down. Mike 35, Mike 35. Let's Jackson, go. Break it, break it. There's a strike complete. Tackle made at the 36 yard line. The 36 yard line. That makes it first and 10. A 
the middle for a nice game. Off and he's met immediately. That is a loss of two yards. That makes it third and seven. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 26. Four down, four down. 35 to Mike. And he's tackled around the 21 yard line. Taken down at the 20. Gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. From the 20 yard line. Second down. Let's go. He lets it go. And that one's incomplete. This is the 10th play of this drive. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Mitchell is the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up fourth and nine. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. It's up and it is good. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. The Gators come into this one ranked seventh. And for Florida, they're looking to win their third straight. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. Georgia's game plan was to run the ball, and they are doing it brilliant. Uh, they knew coming in that they'd have to be able to rely on running the football. So far, so good. We'll see how it plays out the rest of the second half. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. North Texas is up by eight. They'll bring him down at the 24. From their own 24-yard line, second down. Into the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. Gets it out. He's met immediately. Breedlove is the punter. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. That makes it second and ten. From the 43 yard line, second down. He's tackled at the 34 yard line. Makes his way to about the 18. We 
We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 18. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That makes it second and six. the stop around the two-yard line. That makes it first and goal. First and goal from the two. Let's see if they just don't try to power their way into the end zone here. Let's go. Touchdown, Georgia! They need to tie it up here, and that's exactly why they're going for two. Let's go, let's go. Ready. They don't get it. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. The Gators roll into today's game ranked number seven in the country. This is a game we've been watching closely today. These two teams hate each other. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. North Texas shown that they can score points. We can see that, but it has not been pretty at all in the third quarter. Well, they just seem to have gone cold here in the third quarter. If they can get a big play on defense or special teams, maybe that'll possibly ignite these guys. North Texas is up two. Brought down at the 31-yard line. That's a game of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. Head to Orange Street. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. That's three down and one to go. North Texas is leading by two. Back to the action here. Tight ball game in the fourth quarter. Under pressure. Wow, a big stop there early in the fourth quarter. And the way this game has been played and how tight it's been, every defensive stop will be huge. Marshall awaiting the return. And he's taken down at the 43-yard line. Georgia's are really used to having everything go their way on offense, and that hasn't been the case today. Hasn't been the case. You know, the offensive coordinator, I think, may have looked at this game as, as if it would be no problem just show up and be able to move the football, but I think he got a lesson on why it's important to take every single opponent seriously. Nice run up the middle. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. They come out in a five-wide set. He sails it long. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. The intended receiver on the play. Third down. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Mike 35, Mike 35. Ready! Going long. It's a whole new ball game. Nicely designed play to the wide receiver, and it got him six. You said it, Brad, and a good time to call it. I tip my hat to the offensive coordinator. So the offense will stay on the field and attempt the two-point conversion. They put everyone up on the line. And the running play fails on the two-point conversion. They got the touchdown they needed, but couldn't pick up the vital conversion. That's going to hurt them. Harry Georgia to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. 
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, the other team comes fighting back, and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. He fights forward to about the 26. Maybe a yard on that draw play. That brings up second and nine. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. And down he goes at about the 35. That's a gain of nine on the play. That'll bring up third and inches. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Breedlove awaits the snap. Marshall makes it at the 32. Oh, he got nailed on that one. Returned for a gain of 13 yards. Not much of a problem getting the ball in the end zone on their last drive as this quarterback just picked apart the defense. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack the defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly... He'll take it all of them. Converts the extra point. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? The Gators arrived today, ranked number seven. Their steady climb in the polls, they hope, will continue today. Let's take yet another peek at this game. These two teams hate every wretched breath the other one sucks into their greedy lungs. The Gators have the edge, 13-3. All right, Reese, back to our game. Douglas, ready to kick. Perry from the two. He's taken down at the 25-yard line. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. Second and ten. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball on their own 25. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. Tackle around the 48-yard line. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back to pass. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 48. Three, nine, eight. He scrambled. And he's taken down at about the 45. Seven yards. That'll make it second and four. Makes the first down catch, and he hits him hard at the 35-yard line. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 35. Two down, two down. Check four, check four. Mike, 50, 10, two. Green, nine. Up, up, motion, motion, motion. Motion, motion. Complete. He's got room. And he's level at the 29-yard line. Baker makes the tackle at the 29-yard line. That'll make it second and four. He's scrambling. 
Now he's going to run and watch out. Tackle made at about the 19-yard line. First down. From the 19-yard line. First down. Caught out in the open. And he's tackled at about the 13. Anderson on the tackle at the 13-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. And this play is number eight on the drive. Black box. He's got it with room to run. That's a great tackle at the six. Great brings him down at the six-yard line. That makes it first and goal. Here they go. First and goal down by a couple of possessions. And they got him for a loss. The defense got a great push and blew that play up well behind the line of scrimmage. And this is the 10th play of the drive. In the shotgun and five wide outs. Up the middle for a nice game. Call it again at five yards. That makes it third and goal. Here we go, folks. Third and goal from the four. Just under three to go in regulation. Now he tries to buy some time. And he tackles him hard at the 11-yard line. Boy, this defense really came to play today. Well, they said before the game that they wanted to put a lot of pressure on this quarterback. They sure stuck to that plan. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. Kicks away, and it sails through the uprights. Landry has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Gathered in at the six. Oh, man, did he take a hit. The Bulldogs are a scoring machine right now. They put up 22 unanswered. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Makes the grab past the marker. He's taken down right around the 44-yard line. North Texas going to take their first time out of the hat. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 44. Catches it, and he's looking for more. They'll bring him down at the 48. North Texas will have one timeout remaining. That makes it second and two. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Fires it out. He's tackled at the 38. North Texas has called their final timeout. First and 10, ball on the 38-yard line. Just under two minutes in the game. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. side and there's nothing going there loss of four on the play that'll make it third and 13 from the 41 yard line third down and this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock the offense lining up in a victory formation and he takes a knee
Georgia staff just dancing on the sideline. Their star player came through for them, and they couldn't be happy. Well, the staff has to feel good. The entire team should feel good. And I know you and I just having a chance to sit back and, and watch this young man play. Uh, just an outstanding performance and something that this entire team will be able to build on. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.